This is what they've collected in just a few hours. The plastic pirates have made a very good haul today. It's all part of the normal curriculum for the high school kids from the Lorenzen Schule in Schleswig in northern Germany. Today, gathering waste at the Mühlenbach stream and the Schlei estuary is on the schedule. Their task is to measure plastic pollution in and around flowing waters. We're so close to the water and I didn't think there would be much waste. But it's a lot more than you'd expect. This unusual class combines geography and biology. The students identify nearby plants and measure the flow velocity of the stream. Each piece of plastic waste and its exact position must be documented carefully. The data the plastic pirates are collecting will be used in a research project. Their teacher, Antje Kleine, is the captain of the plastic pirates. We want them to go out into the world and to understand their own position in it. That only works if we go outdoors and give them responsibility for their actions in the place where they live. The plastic samples go to this research lab in Kiel. It works together with schools. The plastic from Schleswig is being investigated by marine biologists Dennis Brennecke and Alice Nauendorf. They're hoping to obtain more than 150 data sets by the time their study is over. Even though the coastal area here in Germany isn't very large, we do have a lot of rivers, and that's where waste from the interior can reach the North Sea or the Baltic. Yes, and once the plastic is in the sea, many animals, like turtles or birds, eat it because they think it's food. They can't digest it, and many of them die because of it. For both scientists, the problem is not just large pieces of plastic, but what's known as microplastic. That refers to plastic particles that are smaller than five millimeters. Much of it can only be identified with the help of a microscope. It's ingested by fish and mussels, and through the food chain, it can get into humans as well. Microplastic typically gets into the water unnoticed. This is microplastic that can be found in a single product, 200 milliliters of a skin peeling. If you use it at home, it goes down the drain and it's transported to the purification plant. But most sewage plants don't have the filters to get rid of it. So most microplastic gets into the environment in the rivers or the sea. This digital map of Germany displays the data from all the participating plastic pirates. The students publish their exact position and upload pictures of the waste they've found. It's an important set of data for the researchers in Kiel. Katrin Knickmeyer supervises the project together with colleagues in Chile. She says that of course the problem of plastic waste is not limited to Germany. The plastic and other waste gets into the sea by way of rivers. And the world's oceans are connected to each other by way of what's called the Global Ocean Conveyor Belt. So you can say that something discarded here can appear at a totally different location. To keep that from happening, the plastic pirates collect and dispose of the waste. They want their waters to be clean. And they have some ideas about what they and others can do. First of all, you can think about not taking plastic bags when you go shopping, or reuse the same bag a few times. And just make sure you don't produce so much waste to begin with. The pirates have enough booty for today, and they hope to keep it out of their waters in future, too.